Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, Rosie Cooks. I have these New Mexico chilies, pastilla, ancho, chili pods, okay? I have, this is beef. It's um, just like a carne asada, flat meat. Uh, let me see, it's one, oh, where is it? Okay, it's 1.29 pounds. Okay, it's not a lot. I have some cumin, cilantro, or oregano, salt and pepper. I t took some of these out of the refrigerator, some onion, garlic. Let's make something up. I'm going to cut, slice, and dice, and I'm going to make like a little red chili sauce, flat meat, carne asada. Let's do it. Okay, so right here. I took two of the chili uh, New Mexico. Okay, they are a little bit spicier than the California chili pods. And then I took one of those pastillas. They look like this, they're all shriveled. I'm gonna also use two of these little red chili, the albules, and uh, these give heat. So that's what I'm gonna use. I'm going to take all the seeds out, and then I'm gonna boil them for a little bit to soften them up. Simple like this, just take out all the seeds. Took the seeds out of my chili pods. I'm not gonna take the seeds out of this because this packs a lot of heat. This is gonna give a really good color and it's gonna give flavor as well. That's the way I'm gonna do it. Okay, so right here I have a saucepan. I put all my chili pods, my tomato and my garlic and onion. I'm gonna boil this for 15 minutes. I really love working with beef that's uh, slightly frozen. I took it out of the freezer about an hour ago and you can see I'm getting beautiful little chunks of meat. And it's still slightly frozen, but I'm able to cut it really easily into beautiful little chunks. Okay, so everything's boiling. Just gonna give everything a little movement right there. Let it keep going for 15 minutes. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes. I didn't need to go all the way to 15. They're pretty soft. So I'm just gonna let them sit there for a little bit until I start cooking up my meat a little bit. I'm gonna get my meat started. Okay, gonna start off with about a tablespoon of oil. And now, I'm gonna start adding my, my beef. Gonna let this start going for a little while. Here I have all my peppers, my pods, uh, I have my tomato, my onion, my garlic, everything. This is half a cup of the juice that everything was boiled in. And now I'm going to put my blender, I'm going to liquefy it. Okay, so my carne asada beef chunks have been cooking for about 10 minutes, okay? Here's my beautiful salsa, and I'm going to strain it because it does have like little thick pieces of the, of the chili pods, so I want it to be smooth, so I'm going to strain this like this. So I added the rest of the two cups of water, and I'm going to, I added it to my uh, container, my glass container just so I can get all the good stuff out of there. And now I'm gonna to continue to strain this. There's gonna be a lot of flavor in this. Normally I add my salt and cumin and everything to this mixture. I forgot, it's no big deal. Now I'm gonna add this. Okay, this is salt, pepper, Cilantro flakes, I didn't have fresh. I have a little bit of uh, the Nor chicken bouillon and some cumin right there. 
Now I'm gonna let this combine and just let it simmer until all my meat is nice and tender. But look at that gorgeous red color. This is really a chili cor cordado, red chili beef. Call it whatever you want. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Let this cook for a little while. I'm gonna cover it and simmer it. Okay, so I just lowered the heat to a simmer and I'm gonna let it simmer for another 10, 15, 20 minutes. I'm gonna check it. I'm gonna make sure my beef is nice and tender. Here's my red chili beef. Doesn't that look gorgeous? Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna let it keep going until it's nice and tender. I haven't tasted it. Let me see, let me see. 10 to 15 more minutes. I want, I want my beef to be nice and tender, but the flavor is out of this world, you guys. Mm. Okay, so because I'm going another 10 minutes or so, 15, I don't know, I'm gonna add another half cup of water. I don't want it to get completely dried up. I want some juice. Okay, my friends. I simmered this until I got the right consistency of my meat. It's very tender. I thought that maybe adding those chili arbols, the little ones, I thought it was gonna pack a bigger punch. It's really not spicy, it's flavorful, super tasty. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm gonna make a big burrito out of this. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you think I deserve it. Please subscribe and I will see you next time.